Hey guys, Rob here with Hammered Halo Projects and if you're just joining us for the first time, quick update for you. We're building a workshop out of a two car garage and the next step in this video is to build some overhead storage shelves for a bunch of bins. Don't have a lot of floor space so anything I can get up and off the ground is a bonus. We have 12 foot ceilings in this garage so using the overhead space is going to be ideal but even if you only had 8 foot ceilings you can still build and store a lot of stuff off the ground. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing done. The tools I used for this build was a circular saw, a cordless drill, a jigsaw, a hacksaw, a speed square, and a level, and possibly a table saw. The table saw is not necessary, but with the cost of wood these days, I felt it was more cost effective to rip down some larger dimensional wood. If you have access to these everyday tools, you shouldn't have any problems putting together as much storage as you need. And if you don't, as always, you can find the links to all the tools I personally use in the description below. So the materials I picked up for this build were eight two by six by eight feet long, three sheets of 716 OSB board, three six foot lengths of flat bar, number 14 by inch and a half screws, number eight by inch and a half screws, and 24 flat washers. Most garage ceilings are flat all the way through, which makes installing overhead shelving really easy. My garage, on the other hand, is a nightmare. I have a large beam along with a raised ceiling behind it which really limits the depth of shelving I can go with for the top shelf. There's only 15 inches between the bottom of the beam and the lower ceiling which only allows me to have a 12 inch deep shelf for the top storage. The one bonus here is I can use the beam as a structural support for both storage shelves. You'll be able to see what I mean later in the video. The first step was to rip all the 2x6 boards in half and once again if you don't have a table saw you can skip this step by buying regular 2x4s or even 2x3s instead of 2x6s. Next was to determine the length of each shelf. The top shelf has to extend to the edge of the beam and the measurement is 33 inches. At this point I also used a level to draw a reference line on the wall making sure I allowed for the 7 16 OSB board that I will be using for the decking of my shelves. The smallest bins I could find were 12 inches high so when all is assembled I want the opening to be no less than 12 and a half inches. Here I'm using my skill saw and a speed square as a guide to cut all my joist members to 30 inches long. Nice! Now that all the framing pieces are cut, assembly is as simple as building a wall. I want my joist spacing to be 24 inch on center, so I'm drawing a line every 24 inches on my two 8 foot lengths. Now I just separate them and add my 30 inch pieces that we already cut and screw it all together using 3.5 inch deck screws. Getting the framing up and into place proved to be a little more challenging than I thought it would be. If you can enlist another set of hands for this step, it'll save you some aggravation. Once it's in place and level, I simply screw it into the framing of the existing wall. And here, following the exact same steps as the first, I'm just securing the other side of the upper 16 foot shelf framing. Now that the framing is secure, I can go ahead and cut down the OSB shelving board to fit the framing. I'm using a sacrificial board under the OSB so I don't cut into my table. Setting the depth of my skill saw will allow me to just slightly cut into the sacrificial board below. Now before I put the shelf board up onto the framing, I have to secure it with one of the flat metal braces that I picked up. 
These flat bars come in six foot lengths, so I'm cutting them into two foot lengths in order to get three pieces out of each length. I'm using a hacksaw to cut them, but if you have access to a grinder, that would make it go a little faster. Now I need to bend these metal pieces at 90 degree angles so I can fasten them to the shelf framing. To make this step easier, I simply made a saw cut into a scrap piece of wood, clamped it to the table, and then inserted the flat bar to where I needed to bend it, and then bent it over. The purpose of the flat bar is to carry the load on the front face of the shelves and by bending it and securing it to the underside of the framing and then into the beam above should give it enough strength to hold a lot of weight. I'm using the number 14 by inch and a half inch screws along with the washers I picked up. Now I can go ahead and install the OSB shelving and finish adding all the flat bar supports. Now building the lower shelf is exactly the same as the upper shelf. The only difference is I've got a cutout because there's a 2x8 support which the main bar from the garage door opener attaches to. So what I've done is just built the shelf exactly the same way but left a 9 inch cutout which I can install after I get the shelf in place. Now I just have to screw all the OSB plywood down with the number eight inch and a half inch screws and connect the rest of the flat bar. That'll take care of the construction of these shelves. And to keep with the theme of the garage, I'm gonna go ahead and paint them. Okay, I gotta be honest with you. I had so much fun painting these things. I decided to do the garage door as well. No, I'm just kidding. Painting's a lot of things, but fun ain't one of them. Don't let any 